Hey guys, God bless you. Um, I wanted to do this video and talk about um, an opportunity for an amazing prison ministry. Um, as you guys know, I served myself six years in federal prison. And uh, <clears throat> I everything I learned of who I am today, I learned while incarcerated. And, uh, you know, we have our sermons dictated and send them out to inmates and it hasn't worked uh, for whatever reason things get sent back mailed back we have to double stamp them because a lot of times the sermons are, are heavy so we have to add double stamps and the printing the paper the envelopes the time the the stamps um and it was for a hundred inmates and um Many of the inmates, we, we just gave up because even though they wanted the, the sermons, it wasn't getting to them for whatever reason. At first, it was because the color was the cover was color, and then we went black and white, and then it was for just different reasons. Anyways, <clears throat> there's this opportunity that I that's been opened up to us, and I wanted to talk to you guys about it. I talked to a few people in private today, just one-on-one -on -one conversations. Uh, and basically, it's um, in prison and in jails and solitary confinements, uh, some federal prisons, state prisons, in 30, I believe 32 or 34 states, um, they have tablets. And in those tablets, there's a ministry that has an app on those tablets. So um, 1.3 million one point, actually, this was back in 2023, so this is months old. This is from last year. One, 1,361,096 inmates had an account on this Christian app that is on their tablets. On their tablet, on that Christian app is sermons, podcasts, Bible studies, um, devotionals, and 1.3 million. Remember the letters we were sending out? That was trying to reach a hundred, and that many times that reached up to eleven hundred dollars a month, and then for a lot of them to get returned back. You know how discouraging that was. But this is an opportunity to reach one point three million. It's probably more now because this is twenty twenty three, twenty one to twenty three, within two years. 403,000 daily views, 95 million total views, and there's been 272,957 decisions to repent and follow Christ. Um, this is an amazing opportunity. You know, I always knew that God was going to cause a revival to happen. To those incarcerated i knew it i knew it back then uh because what i saw what i saw in myself and what i saw in other leaders that are in there you know and the fact is this is that most people in prison 80 85 percent of them have a release date not everybody's there for life you know so these people are gonna release to your city to your state to your neighborhood to your block so I believe that prison ministry is important because prison reform is not happening. They're just housing them until they get out and many come out worse. But this is an opportunity, guys. Not only are they getting just a transcript, but they have an opportunity to actually watch the sermons. It's almost like a Christian YouTube for inmates. And to be able to reach 1.3 million. Here's the thing, though. There are, I think, in 32 or 34 states. In the next 60 days, they're adding 12 more states, including California. So pretty soon, they are gauging that instead of 403,000 average daily views, it's going to jump to 600,000. That's over half a million views every single day. People that are hungry hungry to hear the word of God, hungry to learn more, hungry to to um, be ministered to, hear worship music and whatnot. 
So <clears throat> this app has a lot of the major churches in the United States, which is great. I mean, praise God. You know, a lot of the ones you see on TV, a lot of ones that are really blowing up on YouTube. And I, I, I inquired them and uh, I was sent an application because they really want to know if you're biblically sound. They want to know your website. They want to know your church. They want to know your social media. They want to know your specs and your cameras and your, 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 your audio and your microphones. And I sent all that. And then I put what I'm about, I'd let them know that I had been in federal prison myself, arrested under the RICO Act from 2004 to 2010. So <clears throat> I had them answer back. And uh, I was on a Zoom call with somebody from the organization this morning. And basically they said that they don't have one single pastor on their entire platform that is an ex-con himself. They have a they they have wonderful ministries on there, don't get me wrong. He said, but he said, there's nobody like you. And we would love to have you on our platform. So then I said, okay, let's do this. I mean, we were excited to mail out to a hundred inmates transcripts. That's a hundred inmates. This is 1.3 million. That's, that's going to jump higher than that within the next 60 days because they're adding 12 more states. Their goal is to hit all 50 states and eventually maybe even further. So I was talking with him and uh, it came down to this because <clears throat> he says, well, he goes, since you want to sign up, you're interested. I said, yeah. He goes, well, there's, there's three tiers in which you can partner up with us. And when I heard that, I said, okay, it's, it's finances. Because, guys, nothing is free. Everything that is worth something costs something. So I said, okay. He says, there's three tiers. And um, the first one, the basic one, which allows eight videos a month, which is exactly what I wanted. Because I wanted to be able to put four sermons, that way every Sunday sermon, and then four podcasts. That way I could be able to minister to them. And um, the basic one is $1,500 a month. I'll be honest with you. When he first said that, I'm like, oh, my gosh, $1,500. But then I thought $1,500 for the gospel to reach $1.3 million? So I was talking to Sharon, and I said, you know what? This is possible. Because there are people, guys, and maybe some of you are them that, Maybe you don't give tithe or offering to churches because you like to know specifically where your money going is going. And I know this because first, I know this firsthand. I, I talked to a few people today, and I know this firsthand. That there are some people that don't really like to give like in a generalized way, but when they know exactly where their money is going, they're all for it. Well, this is an opportunity for that. So we figured if we can get 15 people to give $100 a month, or 30 people giving $50 a month. Guys, we can make this happen. You know, $100. And you're helping reach 1.3 million people. That is incredible. Um, I asked them. I asked them straight up. I was like, why um, why that amount? I said, I, I get it, but I know you're a nonprofit, so why, why that much? You know, 1500 He said, and he explained, quickly explained, basically, every single state prison system, they own the tablets. They own what's on those tablets. See, prison systems, they're, they, they, they're for profit. So in order for them to have that app on there, costs each state. And they want to add 12 more states. So they said a lot of that is for that, to help expand, to help get tablets in the hands of, of inmates. And, and also, obviously, their administration. It's not easy to run an app like that. They have to run it. That, that, that's a lot of work. Guys, it's a beautiful ministry that they're doing. Um, 1.3 million is insane. 
it's possible. So today I started calling people and um, almost every single person I talked to said, put me down for a hundred, put me down for a hundred, put me down for a hundred, you know? And the thing is that this is ongoing. So we're getting very close to hitting that 1500, but then there's next month and the next month, you know? And um, for me, it's, it's a win all the way around. You know, the Bible says to remember those in prison. And, and I think this is a way where a little bit of money compared to the amount of people that you reach with the gospel, um, it's, it's almost impossible to pass up. So if that is something you would like to do, then please get a hold of me. Email me. Email me and um, I can invoice you. Um, from what I understand, you, I get the algorithm. I, I, not the algorithm, but through their algorithm, I get how many views get washed. I, I can share all of that every single time. How many views, how many people hit the salvation button, um, which I'll explain later on another video, but I want to say this too is guys when I was in prison in, we had in the in a chapel We had different pastors that were different ministries. I'm sorry that would mail in um, VHS or DVDs and I would watch it and if I would be inspired, you know what I would do? I'd call home and I'll say you got to watch this pastor or this church. This is anointed This is a blessing You don't think that 1.3 million possible Inmates that will watch our messages, they're going to call home. They're going to talk to their wives, their mothers, their fathers, their siblings. And because here's the thing is that when somebody's incarcerated, not only is a person incarcerated, it, it incarcerates the entire family. There's many mothers raising their children by themselves out there. They feel lost. They feel like there's no hope. And to be able to give them an opportunity to say, hey, you got to check this church out. Because here's what I'm going to do is every video I put out on that prison app, I'm also going to put it on this YouTube channel. Because what, what I want to happen is if if an inmate watches it and says, you got to watch episode, you know, whatever. And then they can find it on YouTube on this channel. That way, both sides, those incarcerated and those not incarcerated, both get the opportunity to be ministered to, you know, and it just, man, if, if I had had a tablet when I was in solitary confinement, I would have came out glowing like Moses did when he came down the mountain and his face was glowing because he was in the very presence and the glory of God. This is something very, very dear to my heart, man. You know, um, here's the stats they sent me. Let me show you that. Look at that. I think this is an opportunity of doing something collectively together. And if that is something, so <clears throat> if for some reason um, I get more than the 1500 then that'll, I'll pay for a second month, you know? So in case somebody's thinking like, well, what if I give and you already have the 15, then I'll pay into the next month. Everything that, every single dollar that is sent toward prison ministry is going to go toward prison ministry. And um, I'm just, guys, I, I'm overwhelmed by this. I'm excited by this. I Knowing I was going to have this Zoom meeting with this person, I, I couldn't even, I tossed and turned last night because I was so excited of the opportunities of being able to go back and think about it. I was excited about trying to reach a hundred people with transcripts. How much more for 1.3 million men and women that are incarcerated, that many of them have release dates, they will be out someday. And even if not, they still need Jesus, even if they have life. There are so many stories of revival that is happening. So many inmates that are requesting to be baptized. So many inmates that are learning how to take communion. So many different inmates because of this app. I 
I was talking to the, that ministry and they said that they're constantly getting calls from chaplains from prisons all across America saying, we are seeing revival like we've never seen before. What are you guys doing? Wow. And like I said, all the churches that are on there, praise God for them. The ones I skimmed through because I was able to look at the app, you know, it, it, what a blessing, you know, but a lot of them are, are um, honestly, let, let's, let's just be honest. A lot of them don't relate to the person that's incarcerated. And, and I'm not saying every everything has to because the gospel is the gospel. The message is the message. The Bible is the Bible. You know, but to give them what we do relatable to them in a way that they will be able to understand what the word of God says. We don't want to build mega churches. We want to build mega Christians. So um, with that, guys, if that's something that you are interested in, if that is something you want to partner with, even if it's not every month, you're just like, you know what? I can't do every month, but I can commit to get this thing started. I can send this just this one time. That's fine, too. You know, I'm just like, man, we got to do this. We got to do this now. So I asked them, how can we do this? I said, well, as soon as you make your first payment, you sign the contract, you do everything and we will create a login and password and boom, you can start uploading from that point on eight videos a month. And uh, I'm just really looking forward to it, you know. So anyways, guys, uh, God bless you. Thank you so much and uh, hope to hear from you. Uh, just email me at houseofrestchurch at gmail.com. I'm going to put the email on the screen the entire time of this video. And it's going to be in the comments and in the description box to email me if this is something you're interested in. I knew there's a few of you that watched um, the Bible study last night. I saw on the live chat that you were saying, I'll do it, I'll do it, but there's no way for me to get a hold of you. So if that was you that was saying that during Bible study, please um, email me. All right. See you guys later. God bless you. Thank you so much. And um, see you tomorrow or the next video or the next devotional. God bless.